Hello, today we're going to go over the basics of the SmartScope viewer software that comes with your SmartScope handheld digital microscope. So let's go ahead and get started. Plug your, your SmartScope into the USB port on the computer and then go to your desktop and find the SmartScope viewer icon and double click it. Your software will open up and you'll see a window that looks like this and you'll have a toolbar across the top and you'll have the live image from your SmartScope. What we have here, I'm viewing see, a couple of mosquito larvae. So let's go ahead and move up here to your video setup with the two little gears. And let's check a couple of things first. Let's go ahead and go to video format and change to the higher resolution, which is 1280 by 1024. And that is going to give you some good quality images. The next thing I'd like to do is come down here to full screen mode. And we have a couple of options, but let's choose full and click apply and OK. What that will allow us to do is if you move your cursor to the middle of the viewing area and double click, it takes that to full screen view. And this is great for having students see in great detail what is going on under the microscope. It's great for projecting on the wall for your students. We can come out of that by simply double clicking again. And then let's move on up to our snapshot. Let's say we want to take a picture. So we can click the camera icon and you can see as we do that it adds the images down here on our bottom uh, preview image area. You can also take pictures by pressing the snapshot button on your smart scope. So if we want to see these images we can simply click and drag up into the viewing window and see uh, those images again and we can come back uh, go back to our live image by simply clicking go back. Now the next icon over is the video camera icon and this is obviously for recording videos and if we click there we know that we're recording a video for two in two ways you can see that our our video camera icon became a stop button and we have a timer over here that is showing us the elapsed time of our video. When we're ready to stop, we simply click stop. If we want to view our video, we come down here to our movie tab and we can scroll all the way to the right and we see our most recent video and we could drag this up into the viewing window to view it within the software in the same way that we did with our photos. Um, now if we uh, go over to the snowflake icon, we can freeze our image by simply clicking that and that is great for uh, just having that moment, that instant where okay I just want to see this or I want to just show my students this one thing as they're coming in and it just makes it really easy and then when you want to come out of it simply click freeze again and you're back to your live image. So the last thing I want to do is um, uh, with this video is come in and one of the questions we get a lot is, okay, I've taken a ton of pictures with my uh, smart scope. Where do I find them? I know I can view them here, but where do I get to them? And you can click again on your video setup icon and come down here and this tells you exactly where your uh, images are stored. You can save your images as JPEGs or you can save them as bitmaps. So either one of those can be dropped into PowerPoint, they can be dropped into Word, those types of things. Uh, so, And you can also change where those images are stored by clicking this JPEG button. And you can take this and direct it and tell it exactly where you want to store your future images and then click Save. And it will store all of your future images at that location. Same thing with your videos. Your videos are stored in AVI, which is a standard format, can be dropped into PowerPoint, can be uploaded to YouTube, those types of things. Standard form. If you want to redirect where those are stored, uh, just come in, tell it where you want to store it, click Save, and it stores all of your future images there. 
Okay, so that's about it for the basics of the SmartScope Viewer software. There are some things we did not cover. We have a compare feature here. We have measurement, and you can also do time-lapse videos with your SmartScope. So uh, we have additional videos on those topics specifically. As always, if you have questions or need anything, don't hesitate to give us a call at 866-722-2051 or drop us an email at support at smartschoolsystems.com.